Hello, welcome to our latest market analysis. The US elections are done, so the silly season is over. We don't know what uh, the wins uh, of President-elect Joe Biden, what effect it will have on the market. But from the traders' perspective, we expect the normal volatility to come back so that we can be able to trade the market in peace. In the last few weeks, it's been very difficult to make trading decisions because a lot of things were happening. As we mentioned in our previous video, there was the resurgence of COVID-19 in some European countries and also in the US and also the US elections. So now at least the US elections from as far as we know are done. So life must continue as we knew it before the elections or the silly season. Now back to what we do the best, the market analysis. So again, let's remind you of the risk, risk disclaimer. Everything that is shared on this uh, channel is not supposed to be used as an investment advice. We're just sharing uh, what we see on the chat, but we're not making buy or sell recommendations. Everything will be uh, the user's discretion. If you feel like you want to buy based on this analysis, it's up to you. Trend Trader will not be liable for any losses or profit that result from the use of the material that is presented here. And again, don't forget to subscribe. So we have a couple of stocks that we'll be looking at uh, for this week. Uh, last week was a nice uh, week. We had some very good trades that we took at the beginning of the week. They worked well. Some of the trades that came from uh, analysis that we had done in our previous videos. Uh, so like what we want to say is that we can do the analysis today, put the stock on the watch list, wait for the market to trigger an entry. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes it happens in a week, two weeks later, three weeks later, the signal triggers and then we go back. We look at how we analyze the market, how we analyze that specific security. Then we take the trade. So. We may analyze something now. It may not necessarily work this week. It may actually never work ever, but some of the stuff does come up uh, eventually. So whenever they come, we just go back, we take the trade and we move on with our life. So for this week, we are looking uh, at Aspen. So there were news about some Johnson & Johnson stuff happening there that might help Aspen. I think they want to use Aspen facilities in East London or Port Elizabeth. And they'll be working on the COVID-19 vaccine. Well, the COVID-19 vaccine hasn't been found yet. So it's just maybe some candidates or what they think can work against the coronavirus disease, but there's no definitive vaccine that has been found yet. So the market reacted positively on those news and we started to see some price action on Aspen. And as you can see on the chart, the stock has been trading a bit lower. And we had traded Aspen previously from 110 uh, rents. So then started to consolidate. It came back to test the 50-day moving average. When it closed below, we exited our position. So we waited to see if there would be a bounce. So there was a bit of a bounce here, but that um, trade didn't work out as expected. It quickly reversed. So now, as you can see, we have a couple of uh, lower lows. We have this low and this low, but uh, each new subsequent uh, low is higher than the previous low, as you can see. So if you see a series of lower highs, lower highs it could be an indication of an uptrend, but we rely mostly on the 200-day exponential moving average. As you can see now, the price is sandwiched between the 200-day moving average and the 50-day moving average. So what we would want to see uh, this week, we want to see the price break above the 200-day moving average and trading higher. If it does that, it will give us a, a buy signal. We will buy a spin around 121 rand or 124 rand per share. And we will have our stop 1.58 are below our end. And then we will trail uh, our trade if it continues to move up. Otherwise, we will exit if the stop is hit. But at this moment, by the look of things, it seems like uh, there's a market move. As you mentioned that 
the series of uh, higher lows indicate a potential change in trend. So we expect more of the smart money to move in uh, and move and move this share. So we expect a, a move on the upside. Uh, another stock that we're looking at uh, again is DRT Gold, as we mentioned last week. The stock um, it came back to test the 200-day moving average. It found support there and then started trading higher. So if you took the trade uh, in those five days, you would have at least made 15% profit on it. But if you didn't take it, well, bad news for you. It happens. We also don't get to take all the trades that you see. But the way we see it now at this moment is that um, the RT gold closed above the 50-day exponential moving average. So we expect that move to continue to be sustained in the upward direction. Any close below the 50-day moving average will make us to exit that position. But for now, we are looking to continue to hold the RT gold. Uh, we expect it to trade higher. Uh, we also have some gold chart, uh, which is also starting to show that gold has broke out of the trading range. So we expect the, an upward move in gold to continue. And for as long as it continues, we'll be holding on to the stock. If you enjoy the content of this channel, now it's the right time to click the subscribe button and the notification icon. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. We will attend to them and get back to you. Uh, there have been some talks with uh, Motors Holdings. As you can see, it's been trading lower. Uh, we don't know what happened here, what caused the stock to trade this low. But as you can see, after this low, which took a lot of investors' money, the stock started to consolidate, traded above the 50-day moving average for quite some time tried to break above the 200 day moving average but then it consolidated a bit so last week it went up uh yeah from 43 rand 50 per share to 52 rand so now that is a bit stretched for us uh, but overall this stock uh, we expect it to continue to trade higher so how what we'll be looking to do here we want the stock to have a retracement back to the 200 day moving average and if it does that, you expect it to find support and then it continues with the move high. But at this moment, it's just uh, too extended for us. Uh, we can't buy it at this level because the risk to reward ratio is just huge. I mean, uh, the difference is about 10 rent per share. So that's a lot for us. But we've got uh, this stock into our watch list. We are looking to add it, but we wait for this uh, scenario to play out that it retraces back to the 200 day moving average find support and then continue to trade uh, high another scenario that we expect that can happen is that uh, the stock can consolidate let me see if we can find this thing we expect the stock to consolidate around this region so if it consolidates uh, around that region then the price will have to break out in a tight range and then if it break out then we will buy that stock because now if there's a bit of a consolidation then we have a perfect place to to put a stop loss we don't want to just buy anywhere and for all of this we we'll wait for it to happen we're not projecting that uh, it will happen we don't make prediction we just uh, respond to the market as things happen if and when they happen and then let's move on to mtn group uh, we're looking at MTN. We've spoken about MTN previously. We said that the price, when it tried uh, to break above the 200 day exponential moving average, we noted that there is a bit of resistance here. So the stock couldn't break above this resistance level. It started to trade lower. But then now, once again, it's coming back to the 200 day moving average. So what we expect to see is another breakout uh, at this level. If we see that uh, breakout, that the stock break and close above the 200 day moving average, we will buy the stock, anticipating that it will continue to trade higher. And then hopefully this time it will break above this uh, resistance level. But if it doesn't, then we will have no choice but to exit uh, our position. But then 
something to note is that the more the stock comes back to retest the 200 day moving average, irrespective of the direction, whether it's retesting it from the above or from below, at some point, eventually, the 200 day moving average it becomes weak. Well, it does become weak. It's not something that can be easily explained, but it does become weak. And then eventually the price break in whatever direction, like in this case, it's coming from below. So it might break, break above and continue to trade high. So we will be watching MTN. Hopefully we'll get an entry before the end of this week. And also Telecom Group, we've been monitoring it as well. People have been talking about it. Uh, as you can see, it tried to break above the 200 day moving average. So now it's on uh, another second attempt. Uh, let's just see the current attempt is in November. The previ previous attempt was somewhere 6th of July. So now it's back again in a short period of time. So we'll see if this time um, the breakout will succeed. If it does, if it break and close above uh, this level, or if it start to trade above the current per share then we will buy a telecom group and have our stock 1.58 r from entry and continue to track that so these are the stocks that we, we could be adding into our portfolio this week as we said we're looking at aspen we're also looking at the Arctic gold and motors holding but that one is a bit stretched from a nice uh, risk toward to ratio area so it's far from an area of failure so we don't take trades if the price is far from the error of value. Because I mean, the error of value provide us with a nice spot for us to set up a stop loss. In most instances, we get at least minus 10% share price drop uh, as a stop loss. And then as mentioned, we also looking to buy telecom. So we like what we see there uh, with telecom. So just a quick update on some of the trades that we had mentioned last week and the other previous weeks how they have played out so last in our last analysis we spoke about adapt it that was for the second time the first time we spoke about adapt it was when it broke above the 200 day moving average and then started to retrace as we mentioned uh, with motors sometimes the price do break out come back retest find support and then continue to trade when we saw this uh, breakout at this level, we did uh, miss the trade we couldn't get in. The price traded higher, and then we had to wait for a retracement. It came back to retest the 200 day moving average, and then uh, we took the trade, I think, last week, Monday. So far, the trade uh, is moving nicely into our direction. So we started printing profit there. We are anticipating the stock to break above this level around around 20 cent, around 30 per share, and then continue to trade higher. I mean, well, we don't have an opinion on whether Adapt IT is a good or bad company. What we do, we trade price action, but uh, we expect that this upward move is going to be sustained. Uh, well, we don't know how long it will be sustained, but for as long as the stock is trending higher, we keep on our position. And then also uh, we spoke of distilled group. We mentioned that we will buy as soon as the price close above the 200 day moving average of which we did. Uh, that trade is also on profit. Our stop is just below the 50 day moving average. So we are holding distal group. We don't know. We will see if it will reach 107 rand and if it, if it will start to consolidate around that level. But the ultimate price that we are looking at is somewhere around 104 rand per share. So we don't know how long it will take for that to happen, but we'll keep on holding for as long as it is moving in our favor and our trading stop isn't hit yet. And we also mentioned uh, Pepco, as you can see. Pepco, it came to test the 200 day moving average it break out uh, during that week where there was market carnage where everything was red including your favorite sasol it uh, retraced a bit from support on the 50 day then it came back last week I mentioned that as soon as it closed above the 200 day moving average we will buy so it, at that time it was trading around 12 rand 35 cent per share now it's currently trading at 14 rand 10 cent per share. So for everyone that took the trade, they are now sitting nicely on profit. We still expect the share price to continue to 
trade higher. Everything, as we said, all our opinion is based on technical analysis. So we don't care whether Marcus is arrested or not, whether Steinhoff has a fine or if Christoph is something happens to him, we just trade in the price action. Whatever happens in the business is none of our business. Our focal point uh, is here on trading. So that's it for this week. Uh, as we said, we're looking to add Aspen, DRT Gold, Motors Holding, and Telecom Group. And also there's a bit of, of an update on Adapt IT. Uh, we gave an update on Pepco, and we gave an update on Distel Group. So happy trading, happy investing, continue to manage risk. You know that it's your portfolio, it's your money, it's important that you protect it. 